devastated by the unexpected loss of one of their best friends. A group of MSU students decided to honor him by creating a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping children. Fox 47's Chelsea Snyder talked to the friends about how they're determined to keep their friend's memory alive. Abby Shaw, a finance major at MSU, was only 20 years old when he unexpectedly passed away from health complications. He was known by many for having a very bubbly and caring personality. Abby was the, the goofiest guy I've ever, ever met. He always had a smile on his face. He was always cracking jokes. He was just someone you always wanted to be around all the time. In a way, Abby looked after all of us, right? And for us to lose such a pillar in our life, it's, it's devastating. It Devastated by the news of losing their best friend, Abby's friends decided to create Smile for Kids MSU, a foundation on campus dedicated to helping children in need to honor their friend's legacy. That source of, of pain is really what brought us back into reality, pulled us out of the trenches and said, you know, let's move forward, but let's do it right. Since starting the club in September, Smile for Kids has over 100 members and plans of expanding to other universities is already in the works. Members participate in tutoring services, outreach events, and plans are bringing gift baskets to the pediatric center this month. The club has recently partnered with St. Vincent Catholic Charities and Sparrow Hospital. Abby's friends say the success of the club is more than they could have imagined and hopes Abby's legacy continues to be a light in others' lives. This is bigger than just a coping method. This is bigger than just us wanting to do something good in his name. Kids, other kids that knew him, even for you know a couple months, want to do something good in his name. In East Lansing, Chelsea Snyder, Fox 47. On November 23rd, the club will be opening a brand new foster home here in Lansing to honor their late friend. We'll keep you updated on the details of the grand opening.